this is a good topic we have tonight. It's actually somewhat related to uh, that topic of relief and what can provide maybe some help. So we're going to talk about your health and we're going to talk about specifically something you see on screen next to my picture right now. What you're looking at right there in that picture is mushrooms. Mushrooms in particular uh, are a pretty amazing food, right? Mushrooms have been, and have been consumed since the earliest dates in history. They really, really have. Ancient Greeks used mushrooms. They actually uh, provided, they used them for strength, for warriors going into battle. Can you imagine? Take a bunch of mushrooms, right? The Romans referred to a number of different types of mushrooms as food for the gods. Pretty fascinating. The Chinese culture, as we know, has treasured mushrooms and they referred to them as elixir of life. So strength for battle, uh, food of the gods, elixir of life, three different major civilization, Greek, Roman, Chinese. There must be something to them. What is it about mushrooms? And in fact, they have been part of human culture for thousands of years and have really driven a lot of interest, culinary interest, not just for you know, the, the benefits that you can receive from them, but also the taste, the beneficial parts of it just being a food. They have a number of unique culinary uh, characteristics, sensory characteristics. Nowadays, it's actually a great replacement for meat. A lot of people that are moving away from meat are looking at mushrooms and mushroom type products as a replacement. You can get a portobello burger instead of a, a red meat hamburger. I've delved into those myself and it's fantastic. So mushrooms are a pretty popular food because they're low in calories, low, uh, carbohydrates, fat, and sodium, and they're cholesterol free. That's, that's kind of magical, right? If you were looking to create a food that was magical, you'd start with those things in particular. So not only that, they also provide a number of really key nutrients, things that you don't find easily or readily bioavailable, at least in other foods, things like selenium, potassium, uh, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin D, uh, some different protein structures, um, obviously fiber as well. It is a phenomenal food source. And at the same time, it is a phenomenal health source. Mushrooms are incredibly capable, miracles of nature, truly. Many nutri nutraceutical properties have been described in mushrooms such as, uh, well, such as helping enhance our immune system and enhance some of the different systems of our body with these important sources of bioactive compounds. And some of those active compounds are only found in that specific mushroom in that way. So pretty, pretty remarkable food. But let's, let's talk about them maybe more specifically because mushrooms are also on top of that mountain of intrigue, mushrooms are also a source of new um, antimicrobial compounds and some secondary metabolites. They have a lot of terp terpenes and some uh, new steroids and anthraquinones and benzoic acid derivatives, quinolones, things like this that are not easily found in other foods. They're just not there. It's an ancient, ancient food and really of great nutritional value and great health value and good for you to add to your diet. So a large variety of mushrooms have been utilized traditionally in some of those cultures we described for the maintenance of health. And some of them also used uh, for uh, prevention and benefit, right? Through their immunomodulatory and uh, it's called an atinioplastic property, right? So interestingly, uh, they have actually tried to duplicate what mushrooms create naturally in, uh, in pharmaceuticals. 
they they find these naturally existing compounds they're pretty blown away by what they're capable of and then pharma goes in and tries to copy nature and make medicines out of that a good example of that is uh, in in some products you'll you'll maybe be familiar with red yeast that isn't a product that uh, new earth sells but red yeast a lot of people have focused on it for its uh, derivatives for statins, right? That is something that pharmaceuticals have looked at for a long time and have since created these things. Now, let's get to why we're talking about it in relation to New Earth. In addition to all of those other things, you will find uh, hemocelluloses, uh, pectic substances, but you will also find something called beta-glucans. Beta-glucans and a number of these other ingredients, phytonutrients that go hand in hand, that activate and modulate, literally modulate your immune function, helping to turn it on when necessary and slow it down when necessary. That is, by definition, an adaptogenic food. Adaptogenic meaning it gives your body what your body needs at the time, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Nutrient availability to provide functions in your body when you need them and to turn them off when you don't. That is pretty remarkable combined with Bs, uh, B1, B12, Ds, vitamin D and E. It is a phenomenal nutrient delivery system for your immune function, right? Really, really important. In uh, a number of these in particular are used in a product after all of those definitions that I gave and, and how Greeks use them for battle and Romans use them as the elixir of life, right? Um, when you think about it, if you made a product based on a lot of those mushrooms, what, what would you call it? What are you seeking to do? What are you seeking to accomplish with those mushrooms and their interstitial parts? You're looking to defend your body from foreign invaders. We call that product Defend. It's a incredible product. Now, when you think about where mushrooms live and where mushrooms grow, you'll understand why defense is their number one important thing. Mushrooms actually grow in some pretty hostile environments. Most of the leafy things that we identify with the plant world are off the ground. They, they follow the sunlight, they get off the ground as quickly as possible and trees in particular canopy out to get distance from a lot of the things that are breaking down and decomposing on the forest floor. Well, that environment is exactly where mushrooms live, where mushrooms thrive and grow. That is what they're constantly battling. All the other forces of nature that live on that forest floor. And it just so happens that we actually have enough of our DNA in common with mushrooms that when we consume those mushrooms, the very same compounds that they have been creating for themselves to defend themselves and to have immunity, they are providing those benefits for us. That is just the science and miraculous benefit of nature. These are incredible incredible products that you should take a look at. beta glucans in particular are, are uh, the main polysaccharide that's found in mushrooms. And they're around half of that, that fungal cell wall is constituated or made up of beta glucans. And it's really important because that is what helps those mushrooms grow and to defend themselves. So they are not just fighting on their own behalf. When we eat them, they are fighting on our behalf as well. Really incredible, incredible products. Natural products with these fungal beta-glucans can be consumed uh, and have been consumed for thousands of years. They have a long, long track record of being considered to improve health. And 
best thing of all, they're made by nature. They're not synthesized by humans. They're not recognized by human immune systems as their as self. You know, they are so rather recognized uh, by your by your biology for what they're supposed to do to help protect and stimulate the immune system, but also to protect us from things like pathogenic microbes and other harmful effects, environmental toxins and things like that, that can attack our immune system. I recommend them. I recommend that you look into what we have in DEFEND as we start to get back together, as our communities start to open up, as people sit in restaurants across from each other at the same tables and stand in lines at events, as the world unlocks, and as people still get together, there is bound to be still some collateral effect. Protect yourself. Share this information with your neighbors. And I'm not talking just, of course, about any particular, uh, you know, the COVID virus. I'm talking specifically about keeping your body in a state of preparedness. I'm not talking about any sort of cure. We don't do that here. We just feed the body what the body needs and the body takes care of the rest, right? It, it doesn't have to be that. You can still, I think the one thing that we have learned over this last year, over 2020, is that uh, you, you never know when you're going to need your body to respond well and your immune function to kick in for your behalf. So with that, I will thank you for taking the time to be with us on this call today. I'm really, really excited about that product Defend. I personally use it every day. This is not the kind of product that you wanna buy and just use when you feel a little bit sick. This isn't aspirin, right? We don't sell aspirin. We sell natural whole wild foods that nature created to do some incredible work. All right, I'm gonna check a couple of chats. Susan Katz Clark. Uh, she says, good points regarding DEFEND and that we must continue to be vigilant as we open it up again. That is exactly true, Susan, because it doesn't matter what we might encounter. You can always get a scratch. You can always get, uh, uh, you know, any sort of thing. There's still going to be the cold and the flu are still real things. All the other stuff that people are carrying around. We now know how how uh, dangerous our our, our affinity for being out in nature can be. But luckily, we have our own innate nature. And if we feed it appropriately, it can fight on our behalf. We don't have to be victims of nature. We are part of nature. It is us. We are it. We just need to feed ourselves. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's been great. It's good to be back. We'll see you again soon. Share this with your friends on your team. Make sure they get this information. Make sure that they can share it with others. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.